Hey YouTube, Kier Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Time Thief Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Ignition Assault. Wanted to do an update to the Time Thief deck. We actually received some more support in the latest Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack. There's a really big gap between support from when we last had the Time Thieves first released. I think it's actually been more than a year since the last you know actual support we received for Time Thieves the Savage Strike uh, booster pack. We got a lot more support for the Time Thieves deck, including a new Exceed monster, a new spell trap and monster so all very very useful for the deck as a whole so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so the whole point of the Time Thief deck is to focus on different Exceed summons and then having different materials for the different effects you can have with your Time Thief monsters. So for the monsters, I'm running three Time Thief Winder. You can detach one material from an Exceed monster you control. Special summon this card from your hand. If this card is Normal Summon or Special Summon, you can add one Time Thief card from your deck to your hand except Time Thief Winder. You can only use each effect of Time Thief Winder once per turn. So just being able to uh, Special Summon this card from your hand adds for more resources sources and with master rule 5 being uh, right around the corner we're going to have more and more exceed summons which means this deck will work a lot more consistently being able to not have to rely on link summoning to get out your exceed monsters so you can have both of the new time thief uh, cards perpetua and then the old one redoer on the field at the same time without having to rely on the link summons and just being able to summon uh, time thief winder that much more consistently and have the surge effects as well definitely does help and I'm still running three of the Time Thief Regulator. If you control no other monsters, you can tribute this card to special summon two Time Thief monsters with different names from your deck in defense position, except Time Thief Regulator. When an Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle, when this card's in the graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Time Thief Regulator once per turn. So more resources to build with this card, especially since we have new Time Thief monsters to summon off. It's a definite help just overall being able to summon out other uh, resources. We only had this uh, Beazle Ship and Winder originally, but now we also have Chrono Quarter, which adds to the different uh, summons. And when Exceed Monster is destroyed by battle while it's in the graveyard, being able to special summon this card just adds to more and more cards for you to use as well with all the different Exceed Monsters we have. And I also run three Time Thief Bezel Ship, or Bezel Ship, I believe is how you pronounce it. Quick effect, you contribute this card, then target one Time Thief Exceed monster you control, attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to that monster as material. If this card is in the graveyard, you can detach one Exceed uh, material from an Exceed monster. You control the special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Time Thief Bezel Ship once per turn. So more resources, especially with, uh, you know, Time Thief Redoer having different effects depending on the type of material that are on the card. So with Bezel Ship, you just have the option to grab a good amount of cards from your opponent's graveyard to attach on to your monsters using Bezel Ship for more and more plays to extend off of that as well. And they're all level 4, so the main focus of all the plays with the Time Thief deck are the obviously rank 4 exceeds. And I'm also running three of the new Time Thief Chrono Quarter. During your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can contribute this card. The next battle damage you take from an opponent's monster attack. This turn is inflicted to your opponent. Instead, if a face-up exceed monster you control leaves the field by a card effect while this card's in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you could special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can use each effect of Time Thief Chrono Quarter once per turn. So more and more cards to rely on. That special summon back. And obviously when you use them for the exceed summon into a uh, Time Thief monster you have them go to the graveyard instead of being banished for their effects you can make full use of all these cards and having chrono quarter have this type of special summon effect means you can rely on cards like uh, bezel ship and also regulator for different special summons onto the field depending on the situation with your opponent and then for some of the more generic level 4 support to help with the Exceed plays, I'm running 3 a Summoner Monk, just an easy way to special summon another level 4 by discarding a spell uh, from your deck. It gives you the two monsters for the Exceed summon right then and there, so 3 Summoner Monk definitely does come in handy for your Exceed plays, and we run plenty of spells to rely on, sometimes ones you might not need for the specific play, so just being able to ditch it for Summoner Monk uh, definitely does help. 
And lastly, I also like running the three Tin Goldfish. It's just an easy special summon when this card is normal summon. You can special summon one level four monster from your hand. So any options available for these plays is very, very useful with Tin Goldfish. If you want to try out cards like Goblin Berg, uh, you name it, there are plenty of other options for just the good generic rank four plays you can do with the deck. You're open to a lot. I just really like Summoner Monk and Tin Goldfish to work with the different Time Thief monsters as well in the deck. And that's it for the monsters. Stuck with a pretty solid lineup of level 4 monsters to go for the rank 4 uh, exceed plays. For these spells, I run 3 Time Thief Hack. It's a continuous spell. During the turn, they are special summon exceed monsters. You control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's car effects. Also, your opponent cannot target them with car effects. You can target one face of exceed monster you control. It gains 300 attack for each material currently attached to it until the end of this turn. And if it does and also has material that is owned by your opponent, it can attack directly this turn even if this card leaves the field. So just a good continuous spell set up on the field to protect your exceed monsters. Also bumping up their attack since you can easily put a lot of different XC materials on your Time Thief monsters is another added bonus with this card. That's why I like to run the three. If you open up multiples of it, you also have Summoner Monk to discard this card off to the graveyard to use for the special summon using that card. And I'm also running three of the new Time Thief Startup Quick Play spell. You special summon one Time Thief monster from your hand. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one Time Thief Exceed monster you control. Attach three Time Thief cards, different types, one monster, one spell, and one trap from your graveyard to that monster's material. You can only use one Time Thief Startup effect per turn, only once that turn. So you have the special summon option with this card. You also have the graveyard effect, which is great to rely on after you use it for the special summon. Uh, just can't use them uh, in the same turn, so just having this as a Quick Play option set on your opponent's turn to activate uh, the special summon and then uh, during the main phase you can banish this card for that effect as well since it's only a once per turn just remember how you use them sparingly with your plays also and i also run two instant fusion just for more uh, fusion targets in the extra deck to summon out with this card so you always have plays for and exceed summon so instant fusion definitely does come in handy you don't really use your life points for anything else in the deck so being able to have them for your instant fusion is a big help and I also run one Foolish Burial and one Monster Reborn, special summoning back resources, and setting up some of the other Time Thief monsters we already spoke of, like Chrono Quarter, Bezel Ship, and also Regulator for the Graveyard Special Summon. Can come in handy if you know the play your opponent's also going to do. And lastly, to finish off these spells, just the three Call by the Grave. Once again, just great setup effect veiler, especially when you're going for your Exceed plays. Can really hurt this deck, or Ghost Ogre, you name it, Call by the Grave comes in handy stopping those plays. And then for the trap lineup, I run three Time Thief Flyback. You target one Time Thief XYZ monster you control. Attach one Time Thief card from your hand or deck to it as material. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Time Thief XYZ monster you control. Attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to it as material. You can only use one Time Thief Flyback effect per turn, and only once that turn it is a trap, though. So you have that option for this coming in very useful. And we have more Time Thieves XYZ support as well in the form of Perpetua, so being able to have another target for the play is definitely useful for just loading up your monsters with Xyz material. And to help combat our opponent, running three Time Thief Retrograde when a spell or trap card is activated while you control a Time Thief Xyz monster and negate the activation. And if you do attach that card to a th Time Thief uh, Xyz monster you control as material, you can only activate one Time Thief Retrograde per turn. So this card, uh, you can always should control a Time Thief Xyz monster with this deck and then just being able to negate the spell or trap and then attach it to them and then gain that effect, especially when you use Redoer, definitely beneficial for it. it all just works very very well together focusing on the main play of the deck which is the Xyz summon of your different monsters in the deck to go for and I also run to finish off the main deck three Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine with this one you special summon this card in defense as a normal monster warrior dark this card is not treated as a trap and if you have no traps in your graveyard you can activate this card this turn so being a special summon card you can activate it onto the field and then when you overlay with it let's say you have one of your other time thieves you special summon this card on the field also and if you overlay them into your time thief or doer you'll have the trap and the monster set up already to go with your time thief monster on the field counting both of the effects since it doesn't count as it when it's on the field but once you attach it onto the monster it's showing as the trap card on the monster to use and then you can use both of redoer's effects for the attachment with this card
And that is it for the main deck. I thought about maybe trying out some of the new rank up with the Phantom Spell rank up that's off the ban list. If you wanted to try it out, you could reduce some of the numbers of Time Thief hacks and put them in as that spot for just some rank up plays. I'll show what you would take out of the extra deck as well for them. But for the Exceed Monsters, I run two Time Thief Redoer. You need two level four monsters to make it. I'd say it's your main monster you go into most of the time. Once per turn during the standby phase, you can attach the top card of your opponent's deck to this card's material. In quick effect, you can detach up to three different types of materials from this card and then apply the following effects depending on what was attached. You can detach a monster to banish this card till the end phase. Spell to draw one card. Uh, and trap to place one face up card your opponent controls on the top of the deck. So having that set up with Brigadine definitely is a very strong play. Play, draw power with the spell and also just being able to protect your time thief for doer with the monster effect is the main go-to with that also and for the new time thief i'm running two time thief perpetua you need two level fours to make this just like it more of the defensive card during the standby phase you can detach one material from this card then target one time thief monster in your graveyard except time thief perpetua special summon that monster quick effect you can target one other exceeds monster you control attach one time thief card from your deck to it as material you can only use each effect of perpetual once per turn so it sets up some of your other time thief exceed monsters we have in the deck and also just being able to special summon back resources to use is a big help using this card and then for some more of the generic exceeds report uh, support i run one abyss dweller one tornado dragon one digusto morale one castell one number 39 utopia and one s39 utopia the lightning and i also run one honor arc and one gaga cowboy if you were to put in the dark requiem for the rank up plays you can try taking out the gaga cowboy for that spot to go for the extra deck and then for the fusion monsters, we talked about the instant fusion targets, the one Mud Dragon and the one Carbonala Warrior. And the only Link monster I'm running in the deck is the Lanfornicus. Just for the arrow setup, I uh, might fill it out for more of Xyz once Master Rule uh, starts in April, just because you really don't need as much Link support once you can just fill up the field with a bunch of different Xyz monsters, not having to rely on the extra monster zone. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely a fun deck, uh, very easy to learn and pick up, especially if you're a fan of Exceed Monsters. Uh, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.